Hello everyone and welcome to the final best of three on this third play day of the IEM season one group stage. Um, it is the Bulgarian human player Insomnia in yellow spawning in the top left corner altar first farm <laughs> and of course the barracks next for him. There it is. And his opponent is uh, HG, the French uh, Night Elf player spawning in red in the bottom right corner, also at half first for him. And no early engine of war. So uh, we might see uh, Huntress build by him. So both of the players so far with uh, one victory and uh, one defeat. Insomnia losing clearly to uh, Mew on play day one and then destroying Thomas G on uh, play day two in a especially impressive game here on Tarina stand where, where he was able to apply so much pressure against his opponent early on. Warden first by HG. Uh, HG, we've seen him lose to uh, Titan on play day one rather clearly, especially on Norwood. Uh, not really any chance for him in the Night Elf mirror, but his uh, human against Night Elf seemed pretty stable against uh, Mew on uh, Play Day 2, where uh, Mew well, pff, lost very clearly. So uh, both of the players with one decisive victory and one decisive loss. And against Mew, HG also used the Warden and as just mentioned, had no problems in taking down Mew. So let's see if uh, Insomnia is going to be able to um, yeah, make it a little bit harder for uh, the Frenchman to take him down. So AM, of course, didn't even uh, check that, but that's just a given um, at that time of um, Warcraft history. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, first creep camp being taken by the human player warden heading straight across the map. Down here we see the hunter's hall. Did Insomnia see it? No, he didn't. He just saw the Ancient of War. Second Ancient of War coming as well. So we'll see mass hunts and probably tier one for a long time. And he actually misses the water emitter here with the detonate. So completely wasted uh, 60 gold by the Night Elf and AM is already on his way to level 2. He's easily gonna be able to get it right now as he's gonna kill one more of the Apprentice Wizards. Cloak of Shadows for Insomnia. No spell used so far by HG, but he's skilled already. I'm assuming Shadow Strike, but Insomnia is doing a very good job. He hasn't taken any damage on anything basically, so there's no reason for the Warden to use her mana right now. Of course, keep in mind that back then Shadow Strike was only costing 65 mana instead of 75. Let's see Insomnia Your building is complete. staying on. Yeah, okay. Staying on three farms was what I was about to say, and not building any more peasants. So he's gonna attack here, even though he's got a lot of peasants here already harvesting lumber. So maybe we'll see a tower push eventually. Right now, first Shadow Strike finally being casted onto the AM. So Insomnia. Gonna have to make sure not to take too much damage, but he's making good use of that Cloak of Shadows just found previously. Warden still 0 XP and yeah, of course, still tier 1 for HG. And let's see how well he's gonna be able to deal with the one base play of Insomnia in this case. Let's see, okay, there's the Blacksmith, so we'll see a Rifle Caster play. Which, of course, if Insomnia is able to uh, gather a, a, critical, um, um, a critical amount of riflemen, is going to be great uh, in order to deal with the huge number of Huntresses that he's going to face. Especially since the Warden, or especially if the Warden is going to remain um, at such a low, um, yeah, at such a low level, um, rifleman caster usually very strong, like. What you usually want to have once the human reaches tier 2 and starts gathering uh, more and more riflemen and caster, you want at least a level 3 warden to be able to uh, continue poking and, you know, sniping riflemen, sniping potentially a Naga second if Insomnia is going for it. But 
so far HG didn't really get anything done. So he's still staying tier 1, getting the first glaive throwers. Okay. I mean, he did just see um, Insomnia going for tier 2. So this smells very much like an all-in. Maybe an Ancient Protector push. Because otherwise uh, the glaive throwers wouldn't make any sense. Like you don't need glaive throwers to um, hold a uh, rifle caster push by the opponent. And here are the wisps by HG. I don't think Insomnia knows about the glaive throwers. So as of right now, okay, there is the uh, militia scouting everything. As of right now, he didn't know it, but now he's going to see the glaive throws. Now he knows exactly what's up. Sees even the wisps coming, so Insomnia is all the information he needs. Um, level 3 is going to be achieved for the AM. Very, very important. First, Rifeman is out as well. And Mountain King coming second. The tower is going to come up. He's going to have to start repairing here with a couple of peasants, which is exactly what he's doing. He's bringing the wisps. Is he going to build ancient protectors, or is he just going to use them to either repair or um, detonate the AM and water elementals? Okay, Militia being pulled right now. Is he waiting for the Mountain King? There's not really any need to rush in for the human player right now as there are no ancient protectors coming. But he's gonna go in anyway. And he's bringing plenty of Militia, all the Lumber Militia. And now it comes in really handy that he had so many um, Lumber Peasants and he's easily driving his opponent away, at least for now. He's gonna have to reposition. He didn't really lose anything so far. Okay, one hunt has gone down. The Warden is gonna have to be careful though when he's forcing the Town Portal. And that takes a lot of momentum out of um, HG's game plan. Insomnia is gonna be given some time. Let's see what he's gonna do. Is he gonna attack right now or is he just gonna go for the big push again? I guess he's gotta commit right now because coming back from such a tech disadvantage if he decides to go into a normal game right now is going to be super, super difficult, especially given that his Warden is still only on level one. Whereas the AM is already, you know, more than level three and a half. Mountain King even out leveling the Warden at this point. And HG is gonna go for it again, oh, yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. First, um, range upgrade is coming for the Rifleman. Two of them out at the moment. And there's the Arcane Sanctum coming as well. Scroll of Regeneration bought and used. The Huntress is taking down the Scout Farm here. Um, and this is gonna be it, this is gonna be do or die for the Night Death player. Let's see, is Insomnia... Okay, he's already got a heal scroll. 42 supply for him against 50. Three wisps again around. Let's see if this time he's building APs or not. It looks like he's just keeping the wisps for uh, detonates. Recently. I mean, the water damages, of course, are, are a great weapon. Uh, against the Huntresses at the moment. And again, mass militia called by the human player. Mountain King is ready and is probably gonna throw the first bolt in just a second. Water Mantle is going to be dispelled by the Wisps. He's bringing them. He's not using dispel so far. The Ancient Protectors, uh, the Glaive Throws getting into a good position in the back. The Heathscrow used very nicely. He yield up a lot with that. Now that dispels have come in. Uh, no more mana on the AM. No more Water Mantles for now. Level 2 on the Mountain King. Level 2 finally on the Warden as well. First Huntresses have already gone down as well though. And Insomnia's Rifleman haven't taken any damage so far. On level 2 he decides to skill Fan of Knives, so no blink for uh, the Warden. But Huntress after Huntress is going down, there's still the Rifleman are still completely untouched. Now finally the Knight of Player is breaking through to those Rifleman. Scroll regeneration used again. Level 3 for the Warden, level 4 for the AM. He's soon gonna have another water medal, which is gonna be crucial. As we see, there are only three Huntresses left, and I think this is not gonna be enough. To break the defense of Insomnia here. Then again, Insomnia has lost all of his... Okay, he's got two Lumber Peasants left. The Warden has taken some damage by a Bolt, but Mountain King is out of mana for now. Let's see how much Insomnia is going to be able to pick off here. One of the Hunts... No, it's going to be... It's going to be pulled back in time, so it's only going to be the Glaive Thrower here. As the Hunts have the clear uh, mobility advantage against everything that Insomnia has on the field right now. And he's got the boots on the Mountain King. Uh, but still, not gonna be enough to chase down these hunts. 
So level three for the warden at least. Um, Insomnia has health here. He has also, with what's very important, he's lost peasants massively and footmen, but he's kept his important units for the late game or well, mid late game unit mix alive. He's got his rifleman and he's gonna start gathering his casters. HG <laughs> again heading straight across the map. He cannot allow Insomnia uh, to gather more and more units. He cannot give him any time. But Insomnia is gonna continue creeping here. The Mountain King can reach level 3 if the AM doesn't share the experience with him. Warden sitting in front of uh, the shop right here, getting an inward potion. I'm assuming the scroll may have been on cooldown. He scroll. Yeah, there's another he scroll for Insomnia. Mountain King. Okay, he's even gonna reach level 3 with the AM there. So another very crucial level for Insomnia. It's she again at 46 supply, only 40 for Insomnia. But he's got the superior detect army and he's got the hero advantage. Getting another Ogomole as well for a um, yeah, bit of tanking. <laughs> the gift thrower is being picked off first here. Mountain King is coming in, throwing a bolt onto the warden. Water metal is coming in immediately, dispel use, but it's not even enough to get one of the water metal skilled AM at least. Is out of mana, slow goes onto the warden. There is still the immo potion, immo potion used by the Mountain King as well. And now first rifleman getting attacked. The warden is actually in a pretty decent position. Now he's got to be careful of the bolt and he isn't. And therefore the warden is falling in instant GG called by HG. As um, with a level 3 warden down, of course, Insomnia would have been able to easily get up to 50 supply to a huge rifle caster army, which tier 1 night elf would never be able to beat without a super high level warden which uh, HG definitely didn't have. So Insomnia clearly um, outsmarting his opponent here, clearly being aware of what style he was going to face, since it's basically exactly what HG played against Mew very successfully. But Insomnia, yeah, without any trouble, basically uh, holding these uh, tier one all-ins and, you know, in the end, securing the victory here on the first map very safely. And on Turtle Rock, we are going to see HG possibly going for something else as his approach here didn't work out at all. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to find out on map number two.